Here we go. All right, guys, welcome to the app show. We're in a little bit different of a setting. This is our green room. Um, but we're going to jump back into the story about the transgender teen who committed suicide. I know you two had yeah. a little bit of a heated <laughs> conversation. Which we immediately, like, you said. You made up. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's good to see both sides. Uh, but but you, you, were, you, were, you were pushing a little hard on your point of view. Yes. Like, you can understand what Vanessa was no, saying. No, and, and Vanessa and I, when yeah. we came out here, right. fully understand. Yeah. There's We come from faith-based communities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we understand that when you're that deep in your faith, that that is what's your truth. And I respect you're that. To think yeah, that you're way. conditioned yeah. to think that way. But what I'm saying is, from another point of view, from working with these children daily, is that at some point we have to stop making that an excuse and start yeah. saying, if my, if your child's arm was broken and you were bringing them to, uh, you know, a veterinarian or, or whoever, not even a veterinarian. everyone yeah. would jump. Exactly. Yeah. Everyone would say you're doing the wrong thing. But that you're happens being wrong. sometimes with the really ultra ultra Christians, right? That yeah. don't they don't want to give their babies any medicine. Mm -hmm. That right. has so happened before, and I think they're, they're trying to be able to prosecute them for if their child dies. Right. You yeah. know? But, but then you saying, run into a really sticky area where you're you're injecting law into my right. faith, and that's right. a, you don't want to cross Very that line either. And I understood where you were coming from. But what I was saying is, if if you are going to do that, why not consider this condition as as right. as exactly as important? Exactly. And I definitely think it is time for us to be more progressive in our thoughts. And we were just saying we're the generation that will change the way our parents and our grandparents exactly. thought. And it's up to us to use our platform to create that dialogue. And and sometimes, you know, some old dogs don't learn new tricks and yeah. they get yeah. stuck in their ways. Are but you the old dog? But that's where, though, when your statistic, that, gave, that oh my gosh, that statistic alone, that yeah. nearly 50% of transgender people attempt suicide, so that, that, that alone that, should be a teaching moment yeah. that yeah. love and acceptance exactly. is more important yeah. than these people and, and, dying. Stop and, shaming them, whatever your belief system and, is. And if you, whether you can accept them or not, careful medical follow-up is really critical. Right. Careful, well, I think they very, tried. Yeah. I mean, the, the, but that, they don't, we know what they got. We though. don't know what yeah. they got, but That's at least they said, tried something, you. Dr. Drew. Yeah, I mean, she admitted she was taken to a doctor that she called a Christian doctor, yeah. a yeah. mental we health know, person, right. that just continued well, to say, got, you just need to pray God. What got me was that, and this is what why I just really couldn't side with her, is because after... The mom. The mom, yeah. After her daughter died, she kept she saying, kept saying yeah. my little boy. And I'm, I'm just thinking as a parent, if my child has killed themselves because, okay. yeah. of, of, because of not being able to call the right gender, right. Yeah. at some point as a parent, I'm going to say, I have to put my ego aside yeah. and honor my child and yeah. just at least in their death say, she had a great life. Yes. It but takes think, one yeah, second. Man, and that's, I understand that, but I think in their minds, it's not so much ego, it's faith. And as but much as you love your child, as much as you love your child, you don't go in against God. But, yeah, and I'm gonna so even, I'm gonna I think throw, it's a gray area. I'm going to throw even another wrench in it is that she was attached to her son. No, that's yeah, what I'm saying. She had got used to who he is yet. Yeah. 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 She, she has yeah. the old concept of who she thought he was and takes some time to grieve mm -hmm. that. Yeah. But her non acceptance, her yeah. non acceptance, yeah. I'm not saying this is intentional, yeah. her non acceptance is what drove, drove her time. daughter yeah. to commit suicide. And that is the learning moment it, It's here. interesting. Yeah. Love was, and acceptance. I was talking to Dr. Judy Ho, and we were sitting in the green room waiting to go on the show, and I said to her, I go, depression must be a lot of the case. She goes, like 50%, because it's not a part of trying to come out as transgender, but a lot of times they feel like they can't come out and talk right. to people yes. about it. So they, they're, they're closetly just depressed all the time, mm -hmm. which yeah. doesn't help with their trying to make rash decisions yeah. about should I kill myself or not. Exactly. I mean, she was 17. She was one year away, or probably less than one year away from being able to get out and do her own thing. Yeah. Yeah, maybe not be in the house. But, but don't you have to start we, we, we gotta, transgender? We, we have to wrap this yeah. up. Transition we're, we're, early, though. We're going to yeah. run out of time. Oh, yeah, I know. Right. But well, I just want to say that big, when you're 16, in most states, you can actually go without parents' consent and start your transition. Uh, so if there's any youth that is feeling that way, most LGBT organizations yes. will be there to assist you look and can up. help you through that. Good. So look yeah. it up. Okay. Well, you guys saw or heard both kind of both sides. We yeah. want to know what you think. Leave a comment below on this uh, tragic story. Mm. Yeah.